Hi friend, thank you so much for watching this episode. This is Spencer from A Moment with Teens of Honor. I just want to talk to you real quick. Um, I just want to just talk about the heart. And you know, I have with me some Quaker Oats, you know. And it says on there, heart help. So, I want to talk about the heart. And not just the physical heart, but the spiritual heart. I want to talk about why we should care about the heart. The heart is where we come up with everything. It's where we think. It's where we read. It's where everything takes place. And if our heart is not right, we won't be able to do much in life. Now, why do I say that? I say that because when you look around you, you'll see people who might be looking sad, who might be looking like nothing well is going for them. Well, in all honesty, everything good is going on in their heart. But what's on the outside happens because of what's deep within the heart. You could look at someone from the outside and say, everything must be looking fine. They're smiling, they're happy. But what's going on inside their heart is not what is really going on. So I ask you this question, what's truly going on inside your heart? When you know what's going on inside your heart, you could then know, this is what I need to do. So I ask you a question, do you know what's going on inside your heart? Are you ready to take a step towards putting your heart on the right path? If so, I want to give you some advice and tips on how you can get your heart in the right place and how you can change your life, make a total 360, just by changing your heart. Number one, change the thoughts that you're putting into your heart. Because there's a Bible verse that says, the eyes are the window to the soul, and the soul is within the heart. So if your heart is not right because of what you're thinking, you need to change it. Have a positive mental, mental attitude, PMA. When you have a positive mental attitude, everything will work out right. Number two, the second thing you want to do is to change the words that you speak. If you're speaking negative words, you get negative results. If you speak positive words, you get positive results. The third thing I want to share with you is to take a different approach with whatever you do. If you look at every issue and you only take care of it one way, you will only get one result. If you change the way that you operate, you see a different result. If you're someone who works negatively when any situation comes up, that's the only type of result you're going to get. But if you think about it positively and look at every possible way you can overcome that, you'll succeed. The fourth thing I want to share, and this is the final thing, take action on what you're going to learn. When you take action, that's when everything will start to take place. Action is the key to all success. So if you are ready to succeed and you're ready to see something happen in your life, start now so that you can see the change that you're looking for in your life. Thank you so much for watching this episode. This is Spencer from Moment with Teens of Honor. It's been an honor and pleasure to have you on. Remember, heart healthy. When it's in the heart, it what comes out in your life. Carpe diem. Seize the day. Now, go make something happen. <laughs> I just don't know how to face it I don't know how to face it yet Sleeping lately, yes, I know that I'm the only person that can change me. Maybe that's why I ain't changing. That's why I ain't changing. I got too much on my mind. I guess I don't know how to face it. I just don't know how to face it.